Hello guys, it's Flux Franchiser again. I want to show you my latest project. It is uh, a rebuild from an old scanner and a facial browner inside uh, to function like a what I call PCB maker. Functions as a light source because I wanted to make my own printed circuit boards. Uh, it's controlled by a MCU or PIC Micro, whatever you like to call it. Uh, all operations are visible or made visible on this LCD here and the red light indicates uh, if it, the lights are on and green when the lighting is finished and off. The button I uh, kept here only gave it a new, uh, new function. It uh, controls my uh, PIC Micro by just clicking or holding the button for some menus and extra functions which I will show you in a minute. It's not finished yet, the mini menu uh, at least. So that's nothing spectacular yet. Well, I will uh, include some uh, photographs at the end of the video uh, so you can see uh, from start to the end product uh, like it's here now. Uh, the build. So for anyone who uh, is interested, yeah, watch to the end and you'll see uh, the progress uh, to what it's now. For now I will turn on the the PCB maker and I will show you how it functions. For this I will uh, turn it on first and then zoom in on the LCD so you can see. Let me find the on off button. Yes, there it is. Now the LCD comes on. I will zoom in so you can see. Uh, I will show you the inside. Let me adjust the camera just a bit. That's better. This is not bad, so okay. Well, this is the. Uh, I hope you can see it. I hope it's clear on video, but okay. When pressing uh, the button, it will say start. When I will hold it, I will go back to its initial starting. Flash Energizer PCB Maker, and I'm end up at the start again. So for now, I will just start it and show you uh, what will happen. Hold, uh, press the start, so I will pressed again and I set it to 5 minutes and 30 seconds on operating you see the red light come on here uh, time is counting down and lights are on now so you see <laughs> we'll close it again we'll zoom out maybe it comes better on camera because it was very light so let's see it again you see the lights are on so functions quite well well there's nothing more to it it's nothing uh, fancy but I like it so if you like it uh, if you like to see the the build from start to end then uh, watch throughout the rest of the video and uh, I will uh, fit in some still uh, pictures for you for now uh, that's all thank you for watching and uh, I, uh, if you want to uh, have the circuit diagram, uh, personal message me, so I will see what I can do and uh, scan in the circuit. Uh, I must say there are uh, a few flaws in it. I didn't uh, didn't correct them on the circuit because they are in my in my head. There's nothing really, no real flaws. So, for anyone uh, interested, personal message me and uh, for now that's it. Bye bye for now. Okay guys, I said it was the end of the video but I think uh, I was uh, fiddling around what and I see uh, there are only uh, 30 seconds left on the clock so maybe uh, you guys or some of you are interested in uh, seeing the lights go out that it's really from begin to end operates uh, like it should and uh, I will open the the cover uh, so you can see the lights come out and then uh, I will close the cover so you can see the green LED uh, came on and the red one uh, did go out so let's see three two one and out now as you can see I will zoom in again 
you will see the menu uh, say, states uh, PCB ready press to go back and the green LED here turn on so let's press and it goes to its initial startup so thanks for watching again this uh, really is uh, the end of the video uh, and for anyone who can't wait because I don't uh, always uh, react very fast on uh, PM so here's the circuit if you like to uh, I hope it comes out on the video if you like to do a uh, replication or you're busy with something like this you can uh, pause the video and uh, and uh, make a screenshot of the circuit or whatever or draw it whatever you like uh, like I stated earlier I did make a little flaw in the in the circuit diagram I will show it to you in a minute so this was the late the last sorry last diagram and I will show you the flaw it's nothing really but the flaw is here in the 24 volt circuit for the solid state relay here's the incoming full wave bridge rectifier, bridge rectifier blah, sorry for that uh, 78 24 and you see here the transistor it's an NPN transistor and for you who all you who notice it's on the plus side and of course it should be here on the minus so that's the only thing so now you know the flaw you can replicate this is really the end of the video okay bye you guys bye bye nice day